Shavnam Diaries Podcast Hare Krishna, we are continuing to read Bhagavad Gita as it is, the book by His Divine Grace, Abhay Charanaravinda, Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada, Chapter 5, oh, I'm sorry, Chapter 14, The Three Modes of Nature, Text 5. Satvam rajastama iti gunah prakriti sambhava Nibadhananti mahabaho dehe dehinam avyayam Translation Material nature consists of three modes, goodness, passion and ignorance. When the eternal living entity comes in contact with nature, O mighty armed Arjuna, he becomes conditioned by these modes. Purport The living entity, because he is transcendental, has nothing to do with this material nature. Still, because he has become conditioned by the material world, he is acting under the spell of the three modes of material nature. What are those modes again? Goodness, passion, and ignorance. Because living entities have different kinds of bodies in terms of the different aspects of nature, they are induced to act according to that nature. This is the cause of the varieties of happiness and distress. Text 6 Tatra Satvam Nirmalatvam Prakashakamana Mayam Sukha Sangena Badnati Jnana Sangena Chanagha O sinless one, the mode of goodness, the mode of goodness, being purer than the others, is illuminating, and it frees one from all sinful reactions. Those situated in that mode become conditioned by a sense of happiness and knowledge. Purport The living entities conditioned by material nature are of various types. One is happy, another is very active, and another is helpless. All these types of psychological manifestations are causes of the entity's conditioned status in nature. How they are differently conditioned is explained in this section of Bhagavad Gita. The mode of goodness is first considered. The effect of developing the mode of goodness in the material world is that one becomes wiser than those otherwise conditioned. A man in the mode of goodness is not so much affected by material miseries, and he has a sense of advancement in material knowledge. The representative type is the Brahmana who is supposed to be situated in a mode of goodness. The sense of happiness is due to understanding that in the mode of goodness one is more or less free from sinful activities. Oh, I'm sorry, sinful reactions. Actually, in the Vedic literature it is said that the mode of goodness means greater knowledge and a greater sense of happiness. The difficulty here is that when a living entity is situated in a mode of goodness, he becomes conditioned to feel that he is advanced in knowledge and is better than others. In this way he becomes conditioned. The best examples are the scientist and the philosopher. Each is very proud of his knowledge 
and because they generally improve their living conditions, they feel a sort of material happiness. This sense of advanced happiness in conditioned life makes them bound by the mode of goodness of material nature. As such, they are attracted toward working in the mode of goodness, and as long as they have an attraction for working in that way, they have to take some type of body in the modes of nature. Thus there is no likelihood of liberation or of being transferred to the spiritual world. Repeatedly one may become a philosopher, a scientist or a poet and repeatedly become entangled in the same disadvantages of birth and death. But due to the illusion of the material energy, one thinks that that sort of life is pleasant. Mm. Yeah. Text 7 Rajo ragat makam vidhi Trishna sanga samod bhavam Tanni badnati kaunteya karma sangena dehinam The mode of passion is born of unlimited desires and longings O son of Kunti and because of this the embodied living entity is bound to material fruitive actions Poor part the mode of passion is characterized by the attraction between man and woman. Women has attraction for men and man has attraction for a woman. This is called the mode of passion. Passion. And when the mode of passion is increased, one develops the hankering for material enjoyment. He wants to enjoy sense gratification. For sense gratification, a man in the mode of passion wants some honor in society or in some in the nation, and he wants to have a happy family with nice children, wife, and house. These are the products of the mode of passion. As long as one is hankering after these things, he has to work very hard. Therefore, it is clearly stated here that he becomes associated with the fruits of his activities and thus becomes bound by such activities. In order to please his wife, children and society and to keep up his prestige, one has to work. Therefore, the whole material world is more or less in the mode of passion. Modern civilization is considered to be advanced in the standard of the mode of passion. Formerly, the advanced condition was considered to be in the mode of goodness. If there is no liberation for those in the mode of goodness, what to speak of those? Who are entangled in the mode of passion. Text 8 Tamastva jnana jam vidhi mohanam sarva dehinam pramada lasya nidra bhis tanni bandhati bharata O son of Bharat, know that the mode of darkness born of ignorance is the delusion of all embodied living entities. The results of this mode are madness, indolence and sleep which bind the conditioned soul. Purport In this verse the specific application of the word tu is very significant. This means that 
the mode of ignorance is a very peculiar qualification of the embodied soul. The mode of ignorance is just the opposite of the mode of goodness. In the mode of goodness, by development of knowledge, one can understand what is what. But the mode of ignorance is just the opposite. Everyone under the spell of the mode of ignorance becomes mad, and a madman cannot understand what is what. Instead of making advancement, one becomes degraded. The definition of the mode of ignorance is stated in the Vedic literature. Vastu yathat mya jnana vara kam viparyaya jnana jnana kam tamah Under the spell of ignorance one cannot understand a thing as it is. For example, everyone can see that his grandfather has died and therefore he will also die. Man is mortal. The children that he conceives will also die, so death is sure. Still, people are madly accumulating money and working very hard all day and night, not caring for the eternal spirit. This is madness. In their madness, they're very reluctant to make advancement in spiritual understanding. Such people are very lazy. When they are invited to associate for spiritual understanding, they're, they're not much interested. They're not even active like the man who is controlled by the mode of passion. Thus, another symptom of one embedded in the mode of ignorance is that he sleeps more than is required. Six hours of sleep is sufficient, but a man in the mode of ignorance sleeps at least 10 or 12 hours a day. Such a man appears to be always dejected and is addicted to intoxicants and sleeping. These are the symptoms of a person conditioned by the mode of ignorance. Mm -hmm. Text 9 Sattvam sukhe sanjayati raja karmani bharata gyanam avrityatu tama pramade sanjayati uta O son of Bharat, the mode of goodness conditions one to happiness. Passion conditions one to fruitive action. And ignorance, covering one's knowledge, binds one to madness. PURPORT A person in the mode of goodness is satisfied by his work or, or intellectual pursuit. Just as a philosopher, scientist, or educator may be engaged in a particular field of knowledge and may be satisfied in that way. A man in the mode of passion may be engaged in fruitive activity. He owns as much as he can and spends for good causes. Sometimes he tries to open hospitals give to charity, institutions, etc. These are signs of one in the mode of passion. And the mode of ignorance covers knowledge. In the mode of ignorance, whatever one does is good neither for him nor for anyone. Wow, that's a strong statement. I really liked how in the first verse that we've read, Prabhupada also described three modes in one word, right? Here. Uh, various types. One is happy, another is very active, and another is helpless. So in Sattva Guna, in the mode of goodness, we're happy. 
in Rajaguna, in mode of passion. We're very active, very active. And in Tamas, in the mode of ignorance, we're helpless, right? All right, Jay. This was from the first verse we read. We shall continue tomorrow. Thank you so much for tuning in today. The book links, previous episodes, timeline, and biography of the author can be found on shravanamdiaries.com. The link is in the description, and we shall see you tomorrow. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Krishna.